Hey you guys, welcome to Pinoy Interactive Videos. My name is Jerry Sinise and this is another video tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be teaching you an aesthetic called Retro Fade Aesthetic. This is one aesthetic that I created myself and I've been editing a lot of photos recently through Twitter and Instagram and I'm really happy that most of you like the aesthetic. Shout out to my favorite YouTube squad, Michelle, Ronan, James, and Angel. I'm glad you guys love the aesthetic. Um, I'm really happy that you shared it to your followers and because of that, uh, I'm here to teach you how to do that. I'm not sure if you are aware but I have a lot of other tutorials in this channel. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click that bell so that you get notified notified every time I post a new content. And I'm not only limited to tutorials, I do skits, vlogs, I do short films, so please subscribe and like this video and share it to your friends and tell your mom and dad or whatever you want to do with it. So follow me on Twitter and Instagram, shoot me a message and anytime I could help, if I have the chance, I will do so. Just shoot me a message, I'll help you guys out. I'm also going to give you a free preset today. So a preset is something that you download and then once you apply that preset to your photo, you don't have to do anything. Just click it, then you have a nice aesthetic. So that's something I'm giving away for you guys since you guys are awesome. So please go ahead and check out my other videos once you're done with this. And let's go ahead and improve our Instagram game. I just try to chop that. It doesn't stop the video. <laughs> yeah, karate chop! Okay, so the app that I'm going to be using today would be Lightroom 5.4. You can look for ways on how to download that for free through YouTube. Just look for tutorials and download that into your laptop or desktop. This is also available in Google Play Store or Apple Play Store. So you can go ahead and download them as well free of charge into your mobile phone. So let's get to it. So once you open the app, this is what you're gonna see. So you're in the library module on top. All you have to do is click import to look for the photo that you wish to edit. So this is the photo that we are going to edit today. This is Ronan Dominguez's photo. Um, shout out to Ronan. Thanks for appreciating the edits. Um, once you have the photo up, go to develop. And this will be your basically your playground when editing a photo in Lightroom. So the first thing that I want you to do is click this button right here so it X's it out and then this button right here so you have a bigger picture in front of you and all you have to do is keep the ones that are on the side. So these sliders right here are what we are going to work on in order for us to change this photo into a nice aesthetic. So Lightroom is very easy to use all you have to do is uh, scroll left and right in order for you to change things in it and yeah so all you have to do is tweak all of that in order for you to give it a nice aesthetic so my retro fade aesthetic is really really simple let me show you how I do it from the top of our panel here so start with the basic panel um, temperature is the warmth or coolness of a photo so if you increase that it will be a lot warmer and then if you decrease that it will be colder. In this case I like the temperature of the photo, it gives it a nice breezy look and it fits whatever he's wearing right now so I'm not going to do anything with that and with tint I will not do anything with that as well. Now the first thing I do is I decrease the exposure so that it would be a bit darker. Um, if you would notice, there's a lot of whites in this area, so let me decrease that. I usually put it to minus 40. And then our contrast would remain at zero. Our highlights would now be put all the way to negative 100. So this is the before and after. So if you would notice, there would be a bit of detail if you decrease the highlights to zero or negative 100, as well as the whites. I put it to negative 100. So just by doing that, you can see a lot more features on the photo and you can see better quality of the colors. And what I also do is I increase the shadows uh, around 24 so that the dark areas would be lighter as equal to or will be equal to the brighter parts of the photo. And then our blacks would also be increased around 33. So there. Now, on the clarity side, uh, I want to give it a dreamy effect, so I put it to negative 10. 
and then our vibrance will be increased to around 38 and our saturation would be decreased around negative 20 so there so just by doing that just on the basic panel this is our before and after so it already has a nice aesthetic into it the next thing I do is go to the tone curve now what I do is I put three marks in the middle on the lower left and in the upper right so it has like a linear effect into it with three dots in the middle and then I push this up up until here and then pull this down all the way here there we go then after that I go to U saturation and luminance I don't actually do a lot of things in terms of U and luminance I just tweak the saturation down uh, orange would be less than 29 so that the skin would not be orangey and then um, blue would be around minus 27 okay so before and after nice looking aesthetic right there split toning would be next um, unsaturate for U saturation I put just around 4 but if you notice when we entered 4 it became a bit pink so let me do that again if it's zero, it's a bit bluish. If it's four, it's a bit pinkish. But I, I want to inc uh, add more blue into the photo. So I go right around here, around 189. So it's a bit bluish. And then on the shadows, that's where I put a lot more pink into it. So it's like blue and pink. So there. So that's the before and the after. Sharpening on the bottom part. Um, what I do is I, in, I, I sharpen the photo a lot so I put around 75 in terms of sharpening but I don't want to sharpen the entire photo I just want uh, the main features to be sharpened so I click masking and then I scroll all the way up until here so that you know the white areas are the only areas that will be sharpened by the photo and the others would remain you know clear so there and then noise reduction, luminance noise reduction, I go with 25. And then color noise reduction is around 23. And the last part I do is the camera calibration. Please take note that this is not included in the mobile app. Camera calibration is not in the mobile app. So you cannot do this particular edit through the mobile app. But if you, 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 you have the mobile app, then this is the image that you were going to have. It's already a nice aesthetic. But if you, uh, if you wish to improve your photo a bit more, your red primary U would be at 50. Your blue primary U would be at negative 100. And then your green primary U would be at 100. So there. So that's a big difference in terms of the photo so that's basically the color grading scheme that I have um, so I'm basically done with it um, but another thing I do just for extra is I try to change the color of the lips I'm, I'm really bad with makeups and everything like that I have no idea what it's for but let's just say I want to change the color of the lips to something else and all I have to do is click the adjustment brush on top and then I click the letter O on my keyboard so that every time you paint something over it then you would see a red line that will not be the color of his lips by the way it's just a marker and <laughs> I'm painting it really bad but yeah let me paint that a bit more um, if you think you went over the line you could always erase it using the erase tool on the side so that you know it will be nice um, Okay, I think I got it right, hopefully. I'm really bad with makeup. Um, let me click O again. So there, let me change the color of that to, let's say, red. Mm, or orange, whatever that is. Uh, let's say orangey, orange pink. And then I decrease the exposure a bit. So there, there you go. So if I look at the entire photo, then this is what I have. So that's the before and after. I'm pretty sure I did a bad job <laughs> in putting lipstick on him, but yeah, that's basically how it goes. So that's about it for the tutorial. I'm going to be saving a preset for this particular edit. All you have to do is download it using 
the description box, the link will be there. Um, once you have Lightroom open, just run the preset and in one click you will have this aesthetic in any photo you have. Alright, thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe and share this video and tell our friends about it. Thank you very much guys, have a great day, bye bye.